The setup and commissioning of our heat pumps is done by the remote controller. I'm now going to talk you through this. The process is quite straightforward, and for a basic guide on how this is done, please watch our Arona 3 heat pump controller reviews. Firstly, turn on the heat pump via the controller. Now it's on, you need to set the day and time. Ensure the system has been filled to the correct pressure and the air has been removed from the emitter circuit. The pump can be used to aid in the removal of the air from the heating system. Check the pressure when the system is cold and it should be around 0.5 of a bar for a bungalow and one bar for a two-storey house. Firstly, on the terminal PCB, dip switch 4 should be in the off down position. Now press the pump switch on the PCB. This is the small black button on the right hand side above the dip switches. Once pressed, the display will illuminate and the pump will start operating. This will allow deaeration of the system. It is advised to leave this running as after 10 minutes the pump will automatically switch off. To stop this, press and release the pump switch. This can be repeated as many times as needed to remove all the air from the system. The heat pump control parameters now need to be checked on the remote controller. Start with the four climatic curve parameters. These are likely to need to be adjusted to suit the system design requirements. These parameters can be found on the installer level. You can find out more about these codes in our installation instructions or in our YouTube playlist, Controller Setup and Use. For information on how to access the installer level and parameters, see the Arona 3 heat pump controller setup video. The next step is to check the other control parameters within the installer level and adjust accordingly. The domestic hot water control parameters also need to be reviewed through the remote controller. This needs to be accessed via the service level. You can access the service level by going through the installer level. In the installer menu, enter the parameter number 9999 and press set. A zero will appear in the bottom right hand corner of the display. Then use the up key to push the display up to figure 738 and then press set. You will know it is set when the abbreviation for installer INST changes to service SERV. Adjust any system controls for space heating and hot water, including any programmers, room and cylinder thermostats, and any anti Legionella controls to the required settings for the system. Finally, set the circulating pump output using the dip switches on the terminal PCB, check any automatic bypass is set correctly, and balance the emitter circuit.